there are things that are important to know about our spindles. We have two kinds of spindles. The first spindle I'm going to show here is for the 335, the 330, the 315, the 310, and then the 110, 115 series. For those of you with these printers, this spindle will look fairly familiar. This spindle is a little different than the 365 spindle. This is the 365 and the 360 spindle. It is an aluminum three inch core only spindle. I want to explain some of the differences between them and then some of the things to consider. The first thing I want to mention is, you see how I have this spindle leaned up against here? That is a very common thing for people to do. They take it off and they slide it right there. I don't recommend that. I generally do not do that here in our demo center. And the reason I don't is because it's very easy for the bottom of this to slip on the floor and then your spindle falls down. And when it does, what happens is it hits the ground and this aluminum is soft and it will bend. And then you will have a very difficult time putting these end caps onto here because the spindle is bent. In a worst case scenario, you can actually break uh, some of the gearing, which is more common, I think, on this type of spindle, where this end of the gear cap can actually come off. So please, take care of the spindles and don't lean them up against a wall or the printer because they slide off and they're easily damaged when they hit hard ground here. I have a cement floor, so it can definitely damage. If you have a carpeted floor, it's a little better, but still, keep in mind, those things can get broke and you don't want to have to order a new set. I Normally, I don't have them here. I use almost like soft bean bags that I put on the printer, and that way I can set them here. Or you can have it in a habit to set them on a table somewhere where they don't roll around. But do take care of these spindles. Another thing I want to mention about the spindles, and I will go on the 335 first. I'm going to lean them up here for now, but I don't like it because I'm afraid if I get them at just the right angle or if somebody bumps this machine, down they go. This end cap here goes on top of this. This end cap spindle has a little locking mechanism. Now one of the nice things about the 315 and 335 series and then its predecessors is that this can be easily converted to a two inch core from a three inch core and it just slips right in here and clicks in. So if you do have a two inch core, which honestly are kind of rare, you don't see much of them anymore in digital printing, wide format, usually it's a three inch core and the primary reason is three inch core is going to hold a heavier roll better. Two inch core really is what you see more for non-printable fabrics or things that were never designed for digital printing. Most stuff that's digital printing today in wide format has converted to a three inch core and that's the primary. But every once in a while I get specialty rolls that are on a two inch core and you just convert. If you have the 360 or the 365, which is your true three inch spindle, you cannot use a two inch core. What you would need to do is buy a 335 spindle and then use the two inch converters from here, which will work on a 365 or 360 printer. Here are some of the issues I discover with this. If I'm running and the roll is a little heavy, a lot of times what I'll encounter is this kind of funny noise happening and then it's not traveling properly through the printer. It's almost like the printer is telling you it can't sense the tension. Well, it can't because what will happen is these end caps have a, with a heavier roll, they'll dislodge and then this will come loose in the, in the core, especially if the core is kind of um, uh, stiff or if it's irregular at the ends where it, it's kind of difficult to slide it in all the way. And when that happens, this will come un, un, unattached. Once this is unattached, it's immediately going to kind of slide funny and you're going to lose your tension. So I have had some customers either with tape or in some cases even with glue say, you know what, I'm going to turn this into a permanent three inch core and that's going to prevent that from happening. Um, I have extra sets and so yes, I have a set that I have used some tape on here and I'm even considering some good super glue or Gorilla Glue and making this more of a permanent three inch core because I almost never use the two inch cores and I have an extra set anyway if I needed them for a two inch core. It's just a simple recommendation. 
Um, it's something that I've seen as a workaround to try to get this to be more stable because you almost rarely use a two inch core. If you're completely committed to a three inch core environment, I don't see anything wrong with that. Just make sure that you don't get it. There's a spring here which is connected with a locking mechanism. Make sure you don't obstruct that or damage that in any way. But it's not necessarily a terrible idea to try to make this more secure. I do get that happening on some heavier rolls and keep in mind the weight for this spindle is a little bit less than the 365 and that's one of the reasons. A last note, I mentioned this in another video and this is for the 365. These end caps, this secure piece for the end cap that provides the spring that locks this in place, if this gets weakened because of pulling it off without having it unlocked, that is very easy for this to then roll or to kind of move sideways with the roll. So once I lock this down, I want that to be secure. If you pull this off too many times with this spring on, you diminish the value of that spring and it doesn't stay put. When I'm running long runs on a tile especially, or anything where the travel of the media, the direction of the media, has to be completely straight. Long take-up roll jobs. This has to be secure, and it has to be completely flush against the core. If this gets loose, and it starts moving this way while you're printing, that core is potentially going to walk with it, and you could have an instance where the media is sliding to one side because this is not secure. In those cases, I have taken a little piece of, I use a good scotch, I don't want the adhesive to leave residue on here, I use a good piece of scotch two-inch tape and just kind of wrap it and tuck it there so it can't go anywhere. That prevents it, gives it just a little more of a, of a stability, a little more grip, and it prevents this from sliding. Uh, I discussed that in another uh, video where I'm discussing tiling, but making sure that this is stable in place is one of the key things you want to do for tiling. Um, another consideration at this end, just so you guys understand this, you have two positions on a 365. You have an inside position here, and then you have the outside position. The outside position is effectively the roll is too long to put it on the inside position, or like say a 63 inch roll, you're going to have to come out here, or there's a core that's exposed before you get to the media, and if you put it on the inside position, the printer will say, I can't see the roll. You have to move it over. And you have two choices. You can either take a saw and cut the core, and that way it'll be able to go on this inside position. Or, easier for me, I just slide this to the outside, all the way outside position. That way I have the core exposed, and then the media is still within where the printer can see it. And that's your little ruler right there. If the printer can't see the media, then the printer can't identify where it is and it will tell you to move it to the left. You have to be to the left of this mark right there, um, eight centimeters or just a little over three inches. If you put this at this position and you have core showing there, your media is probably going to be rejected because that will place the media too far in and the printer will say, I can't find it, please move it over. The simplest way is to just slide it down Sometimes, especially if the core is really small, there's no effective way you can cut it. And in that case, you want to place it at the end. Just explaining what's happening if the printer is rejecting your positioning of the media. Sometimes it's rejecting it because it has to be in from right where that second position is toward the end cap here. Otherwise, it's other, towards the gear, it's not going to identify it. So those are some things to understand about the two spindle systems between the two systems. The 500 series, of course, we switched to a spindle system, so none of this is relevant anymore. But this is the spindle system for the, for the it started with the 300, uh, the 310, 330, and the 110. Now it is the 115, 315, and 335. It uses this spindle system. There is nothing wrong with this spindle system. I actually like the fact that it has the two inch core converter built in. But if you're not going to use the 2-inch core at all and you're having any kind of issues with that 3-inch cap uh, kind of getting loose or coming off while you're trying to print, I don't think it's a terrible idea to make it more permanent. But that is a workaround. That is something that people are doing outside of what we're recommending. And in some cases, your issue may be weight. 
So if, there's, if the roll is too heavy, it may be causing that to get loose and come off because it wasn't designed to take a roll that heavy.